All right. Welcome in to another session of our Daily Devos in December. Pastor Rick here. Excited that you're here again today. Uh, just continuing to journey on through scriptures in and around the birth of Christ as we as we just, again, reflect, celebrate, rejoice, um, give thanks to God for what he has done for us, uh, specifically in the giving of Jesus to the world uh, to come and to be born, to live a perfect life, to die for our sins, to uh, spend three days in the tomb, to rise from the dead, uh, to ascend back into heaven, promising to come again. So it's a pretty amazing thing that God has done for us. Again, even because, even with the fact that he didn't do anything to mess anything up. It was all on us. And uh, kind of switching gears here on the fly just because, I guess, because I can, you know. Um, a favorite scripture of mine is in Philippians chapter 2. And uh, so let's see what it says here. Then make me truly happy, Philippians 2, 2. By agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another, and working together with one mind and purpose. Sounds awesome. Uh, a, a, high, a high command there. <laughs> um, don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble. Thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. Again, wow. Um, that's a lot, Paul. Um, how in the world, you know, like... How are we supposed to do this? How are we supposed to agree wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another, working together with one mind and purpose, not being selfish, not, in, not trying to impress others, being humble, thinking of others better than ourselves, and not looking to our own needs only, but, our, but also the interests of others. You must have, he says, this is how you do it. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had, that though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being when he appeared in human form. He humbled in himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. So, man... Like it's a pretty powerful statement of what Jesus did for us in choosing to not hang on to all the things. Because choosing to go from unlimited power, uh, unlim you know, just unlimited in every way, and taking on a human body. Uh, human bodies are pretty limited, you know. Even the best of uh, human beings can only jump so high, can only run so fast, can only think so much, can only talk so fast. So there's limitations. There's limitations in how you're able to act. And yet Jesus considered you and me worthwhile to, to take on those limitations, to accept those limitations. So, um, but, so again, coming to the end, I think that leads in nicely to the verse that we were going to read today anyways. And that is Luke chapter 1 and verse 38. And this is after Mary has received the word from the angel that Jesus is going to be born to her. We talked a little bit about the just immediately preceding verses yesterday. And it says, Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And then the angel left her. Um, uh, other uh, other translations of the Bible read, "Be it unto me according to your word," and I just think that that is such a powerful, such a powerful response to the word of God given over a person's life when she knew quite well that 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 word was going to come to her at great personal cost. Because as she began to show in her pregnancy, 
and I mean Joseph as well, right? Both of them were going to take on a lot of public scrutiny, judgment, ridicule. I mean, who even knows all the things that she had to endure walking through that season of life and yet right before it all starts, she hears the word of the Lord come to her and her response is, I am the Lord's servant. May everything that you have said come to pass. Be it unto me according to your word. Let that be your declaration today. Let it be my declaration today. That no matter what God puts in our lives, no matter what he asks us or tells us to do, that our response would be, I am your servant. May it be unto me. According to your word, let every word that you have over my life come to pass. Come on, Jesus. I am your servant today. Let's be his servants today. Let's stop and take some time to really listen to him. Today, tomorrow, the coming week. What opportunities to minister to people, to help people, to love and bless people do we potentially miss out on because... Maybe we've got a little too much of our own agenda going on. And I don't think we do it because we're trying to be all self-centered and stuff. I just think it's kind of a natural, it's a natural thing, you know, like we think about what we have going on. But maybe today, maybe today we could think about Mary, we could think about her amazing response to the angel giving her that word from the Lord. And we could say, you know what, Lord, me too. Here I am, Lord, send me. May it be unto me according to your word. Here I am, your servant. May every word that you have said come to pass. I hope you have a most wonderful day. God bless you. I look forward to catching up with you tomorrow, and I'll see you then.